I did a video recently all about who should not go out and get themselves a doe rune, but to be honest, it's a whole lot more fun for me to talk about who should get one of these amazing dogs because frankly, I believe that the Doberman can work for a whole lot of different types of people out there and they're truly amazing dogs. So in this video, it's all about who should run out right now and get themselves a Doberman to add to their family. These really are amazing dogs who kind of do it all. So these are the types of people who really should consider getting themselves a Doberman. You don't need to check all these boxes, but even if a few of these apply to you, you should seriously consider getting one of these amazing dogs. Number one, you're the type of person who wants constant, and I do mean constant, company. Dobermans were originally bred to be protection dogs for humans, so they love that human interaction. They're really in tune with you, and they want to be like right on top of you at all times, whether you're watching TV or lying there in bed, or maybe you're just trying to go to the bathroom for a minute alone, um, a Doberman's gonna wanna be right there with you, right by your side, and they can be a little bit headstrong at times, so sometimes they're a little bit forceful about it, but it's kind of an endearing quality, to be honest with you. And so, I mean, if you're the type of person who would prefer to kind of keep your dog separate and away from the family until you just want something to do and interact with them, Doberman's not gonna work really well for you. But if you're the type of person who wants a constant companion that's gonna stick by your side through thick and thin, always be there to talk with, then maybe you should seriously consider getting a Doberman. Number two, you'd really like an extra layer of security for you or your family. And look, as the only breed originally created for the purposes of protecting humans, um, keeping their owners safe really comes instinctual for a Doberman. Uh, and this isn't a secret. Even some of the guys that may want to do you or your family harm will know this about this breed. So sometimes just the mere fact that you have a Doberman on your property is enough to uh, convince someone who'd rather, who wants to do your harm that maybe they should look elsewhere. And honestly, they have instincts that you wouldn't believe and they can read situations way better than even you or I can read them. And let me give you a quick story about my first Doberman, uh, Cooper. We were out on a walk one evening. It was kind of a late evening, walking around the neighborhood. Um, there was a gentleman who looked like he may have been hired by somebody um, and he was working on someone's lawn. Very thin, straggly guy, very twitchy. Um, he, he just was acting very erratically. He could have been on something or, or what, but he was acting very erratically. And he approached me asking about my dog fairly quickly with the uh, rake in his hand. And as he approached, my dog lunged and barked and snapped at him and uh, sent him stumbling backwards and said, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, I'll put the rake down. And he put the rake down and continued talking to me from a distance. And honestly, I was really glad he did that because he was approaching me pretty quick and it was, uh, it was uncomfortable for me as well. And, but what was astonishing about that is I had never seen that from my dog up until that point at all. Um, I've never trained him in any kind of uh, bite sports or any kind of um, self-protection sports or anything like that. Always trained him to be as soft and gentle as possible super friendly all the time, always would approach people and be happy. He was never a standoff dog at all. And um, this just came out of nowhere to me, but it was his instincts kicking in. So even if you have a mild mannered uh, family Doberman, their instincts are always on guard and they're always watching your back, even when you kind of have let your guard down. So if you value this in a dog, then you should really consider a Doberman. Number three, you're an active person or family and you really want someone to join you on your outings. Look, there are many things that are critical for the development of a Doberman pup, but two of which are they need plenty of exercise and they need exposure to different experiences. So if you're the type of person who really likes to get out and bring your dog out to the beach or out to the lake or hiking or camping or different adventures or events where you're allowed to bring a dog, um, then a Doberman could be great for you. Some of my fondest memories of my last Doberman was going on multiple day backpacking trips with him and my wife. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, many days on end, he'd be off leash and just stick right with us on the trail. That took a lot of training, so you know, don't try it with your dog unless he's ready for it. But 
Um, and he would sleep in the tent with us, stick right by our side, always watching our back when we were backpacking. He'd haul his own gear and his own pack um, and his own food. It was just a really great bonding experience and a really great experience for him to just kind of see new environments and new sights and sounds and smells. So if you're an active person or an adventurous person or family, then maybe this dog is right for you. Number four, you want a lot of daily interactions with your dog. So if you spent much time with a Doberman before and talked with them, you'll notice that they look you directly in the eyes a lot more than many other breeds do. And they just love trying to figure out their humans and getting in tune with them. And they're the happiest when they're interacting with their families. So if, uh, and this can be simple things, right? Like taking them out for a walk or playing with them or interacting with them or just talking with them. And a lot of those are obvious, but simple things like talking with your dog on a daily basis is really often overlooked by owners. And it's a huge part of it. If you just communicate with your dog on a daily basis, they're gonna get more in tune with you and that bond's gonna be tighter. And trust me, when it comes to train them, training them like behaviors or commands or anything like that, it's gonna go so much smoother if you've interacted with your dog the whole time previously and they become in tune with you as a result. Being in tune with their owners makes training way easier, trust me. So if you want a dog that you can talk to on a daily basis, ramble on and on about your day and about Shirley at the office, then um, a Doberman might be great for you. Number five, you have just endless love to give to a dog who will be loyal to the very end. And look, Dobermans are arguably one of the most loyal dog breeds in the world. And it's a well-known fact that one of the reasons they're not using the military or police work as much anymore is because they had a very difficult time changing handlers. So your dog is your dog. If you get one of these amazing dogs, then it's gonna stick with you for the rest of its life. So you better be willing to stick with them for the rest of their life as well. And you know, if you love and respect these dogs, they're gonna return that love and respect tenfold. So if you are willing to get a dog that you're gonna be dedicated to this much, then maybe a Doberman is right for you. Yeah, Dobermans really are amazing dogs and they always seem to have a way to give more than they take. And honestly, that's one thing I love about them. And I've been accused more than once of being too positive about this breed and believing that too many people should own a Doberman. And yeah, I kind of have that gut feeling that everyone should own one of these dogs. I really do. And it, I try to suppress it sometimes because I know that that's not true. There are some people that shouldn't own a Doberman. But at the same time, these dogs have a way of making their owners better people. And I think that there's a lot of people, including myself, who can benefit from that. And that's why I'm so passionate about this breed, guys. And that's why this channel exists. It's this channel exists solely to help support you to bring a Doberman into your life and make your life better like I know this breed can. So before you go anywhere, I wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon that comes up next to it. That way, every week, I can keep doing my best to prop you up and help you the best way I know how to succeed with your Doberman. And before you take off, guys, why don't you take a look at some of the other uh, videos on my channel. You can click the little Doberman head down below to go into my channel, look at all the other videos there, or simply go over to the YouTube search box and type Doberman Planet, click on the little Doberman head there, and just binge watch all day long as much as you want. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next week.